Okay, on this tutorial we're going to be taking our template that we designed and turning that into a web page. So we'll open up, if you have Dreamweaver or if you have Go Live. And then we have our template over here just to look at. So we'll open up our template. And just looking at our template, we can see that some of the stuff we need, if we have our original layers, that would be good. Uh, if we don't have those original layers, we'll have to um, do it again. So we can use just about everything. The uh, link part, we're going to have to do those as links. So we will select those. And cover those. Same thing, uh, the title. I also want the title to be done. Separately, that's going to be a little more tricky. Um, can do this, just subtract it. And on that new layer, under that. We'll have to find that font and actually do it. And then with the uh, those little lines, this is easy enough just to take and get rid of those. Remember they are. Let's try that again. Basically, uh, anything that's a text, you're going to want to do over. And if it's a background, you can use that. So here we are, more or less. We have our we have our background. And we can also. this, put that bucket in there, and there's our background. So we'll save that, and it has to be a JPEG or a GIF. So we'll do that as a, as a JPEG, and we'll call it background, and we'll save it in a folder on the desktop, um, and we'll just call it template, because that's what we're doing. But you're going to call it obviously what your name is. And we'll save it in there. Oh, also, let's make sure we have it at the right size. That's also very, very important. And so if you want it to be large, make it large at this point. Uh, I think it should be about, yeah, it's a good size. About that size, and then we can put it in a uh, table. So this, there we go. Let's say that again. This time is a GIF. I'd rather have it as a GIF. Okay. There we go. Save. So you have your web page. You go and like we did before, um, we have to have it on a table. 
and we'll make as many rows as we have to make, we'll make as many columns as we have to make for our design to fit in. If you have links on the left, then you want, uh, you want that. Our table width, what I don't know, 1100 or something, 1000, something like that. Then we take our image in there, select, select our table, and we go to the here, we navigate to our template. And we put our background in there, and suddenly your background appears. Now, you, obviously, you have to make it so that it fits just right. So you play with that until you get it the right size. You could actually go back and see how big your um, your picture is in Photoshop, and then make your picture that size. And this happens to be 792 by 1068. So make your table. Oops. Same size. I don't know why. Oh, it doesn't have the. There we go. Okay, 792, 1068, and that will make it so that it won't, hopefully, make a little bit of, a little bit longer, make it the right size. Here we go. And then for your background, you can just make that the same color. And this way, now you'll be able to type inside of this, wherever you want. You'll be able to take your images, if your image is a title, and stick it in the top column, whatever you need to do. And so that's how you can take your template and turn it into a, um, a web page.